I know there is consciousness in the universe. I have one data point, myself. There's nothing I'm more certain of than the fact that I'm conscious. I believe that you're conscious, but I can't know for sure. I look at you and I see a human body and some behavior, and I guess if I opened up your skull, I'd find a brain inside, but none of that would be proof that you're actually subjectively experiencing the world like me. So this is to say it's at least logically consistent to suppose that you're a zombie, a walking, talking, biological organism with no consciousness going on inside, just like a robot or a computer or an automaton. Now, we don't think that other people are zombies. I don't actually think you're a zombie. I'm pretty sure you're conscious, but there's no direct observation that's going to make the difference uh, between you and a zombie. So it's almost something at some level you've got to take on faith or as a starting assumption. Well, at the center of all this is the hard problem of consciousness, which is how on earth does all this physical processing in the brain give you consciousness? And many people, including me, just see a gap in the explanation. My take on this is you actually need to end up taking consciousness as a kind of a fundamental constituent of the world, like space and time and mass. Find the fundamental laws that govern it. But that's just the start. We've got to find out what this fundamental theory is. One leading idea is panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is present everywhere at the ground level of matter. Even a photon has a little bit of consciousness or an electron. OK, that's fine as far as it goes, but it still doesn't solve the hard problem. So now the question is, how do all those little conscious photons and electrons or whatever add up to the kind of consciousness that I have?